it looks like it's off to a great start. Now, it does look like it. the gate is attached to a two or four that's bolted to the house. If you watch the channel, you know my opinion on attaching anything to a house. I'm not a big fan of it. What is up, Fence Fam? If you've watched this channel for any length of time, then you know what this is. Jeremy's gone out and scoured the YouTube interwebs and found us another fencing-related video that he thought that you would like to watch me review. If you like this video, it would mean the world if you gave it a like. It lets YouTube know that we're up to good business. And also, if you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing so that you get notified each and every time we've got new content available. With all that being said, Let's get into it. All right, guys. So this video is titled How to Build a Wooden Gate with Horizontal Slats by the Scott Brown Carpentry Channel. If you've watched the channel for any length of time, you know we've done one review of Scott Brown's uh, projects. It was one where concrete made quite a bit of a mess of the, of the owner and neighbor's yards. If you haven't seen that video, we'll go ahead and include it on the end screen for this video. So just wait till the end and you can see that review as well. Without further ado, here we go. As always... For to find the original video, we'll link it in the description below. I do like these horizontal fences. So the horizontal fence itself, it look it's a cap and trim. So it's a horizontal picket with cap and trim. I like this a lot. It's it's a nice modern look to you know the, kind of the existing concept of privacy fences. It looks like it had that mid brace in it. That way it. That way, as those two by four, yeah, two by fours, or it prevents them from warping and twisting. So already, this gate's off to a pretty good start. So it looks like it looks like he's got it framed up pretty well. He's got a mid brace. He's got a couple compression braces uh, diagonally on on that gate. Looks like it's off to a great start. Now, it does look like it. The gate is attached to a two by four that's bolted to the house. If you watch the channel, you know my opinion on attaching anything to a house. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, I think it, it invites more problems than it's worth long term. Um, but So the gate that I'm working on started yesterday. I've got this post in, bolted this to the wall. This now, my, my general problem with bolting anything to the house is, one, that siding's not meant to carry a load you know, a horizontal or diagonal load, a load away from the wall. Now it looks like now he could have drilled through the siding and into the actual frame of the house. And that's, that is a better start. Now it, it also bears noting that Scott Brown carpentry is an entirely different part of the world where frost heave and, and the house and fence moving in relation to, you know, freezing and thawing of the soil around the foundation of the house might not even be a thing. It very well could be that my opinion on attaching to the houses doesn't apply to uh, the warmer climates where he's from. The other problem is you have to use what's called a T hinge, which just means you've got a vertical upright and then a horizontal T to hinge the gate to the post. So the horizontal part sits on the post. A strap hinge is where it's just a longer hinge and it spreads out the load of that gate over a longer portion of the fence. Now, obviously, attaching to the house, he can't do that, so he's limited to a T-hinge. It's a mixed bag. I don't prefer T-hinges. I think they're weaker than a strap hinge, um, but I'm sure someone will comment below that they uh, they think differently, and that's fine. I mean, let me know what you guys think on T-hinge or strap hinge. It's probably potato-potato, uh, but let me know what you think. This is the hinge side, as you can see. So this sucker here, I've got to add a bit more bracing to it, and then I can attach it, and then ultimately add horizontal pine like this to give it a uh, uniform look. Check out the decking, by the way. It's been stained. Ah. Those look nice. How glorious does that look? It's interesting that he built out a frame within the two posts uh, to mount those horizontals to. Just a different way of doing it. I think it, it probably could lead to a, a nicer finished look. Wow. 
So it does sound like that he went through the the outer brick into the structure of the home. It's going to give it a better shot. Again, my concern is that over time, the just the pressure that that gate's exerting on that house structure could lead to issues with uh, with the brick, with the siding choice there. And if you ever needed to reside the home or repair something that had to do with the siding, the bricks in this case, you would have to then remove the gate, reinstall it, hope it gets reinstalled the same way. It's kind of inviting more risk than reward here. Um, but it also looks like in this installment, it mu- this might be the only choice. I like that it's recessed, and he's using he's using brackets. Scott Brown is good at what he does. I don't want to minimize what he does at all. And it's just interesting seeing other building methods from other parts of the world as well. Friday, just got to get this gate done. like this that he's using a recessed cut there that way it's going to provide support in two ways just instead of instead of the typical one way in a standard compression brace i'm mixing two pot epoxy glue this stuff is designed to handle moisture So it's interesting that he's gluing these on. It's probably maybe in conjunction with the fastener. I hope it's in conjunction with the fastener. I mean, it, epoxy is strong stuff, but I think people, I think people underestimate just the pressure that's going to be put on this gate for for years to come. Let's see if there's a fastener involved. Okay, there is. So the epoxy is probably used just to keep it in place, and then the screws are used to strengthen that. That makes sense. So you'll notice he's using shims under the gate frame. That way he knows that he's going to have, they're probably inch and a half shims, looks like maybe. Uh, So he knows he's going to have at least an inch and a half gap underneath that gate, which really comes in handy, especially... If, if the ground under this is perfectly level, uh, which it looks like there's no dirt or soil under the gate, it's a, it's a manufactured product under the gate, so it probably is level. Um, it'll give him a really nice result. And he'll probably check the level and plumb here in a minute. I like the fact that he's using stainless. It means it won't bleed. Uh, as the fence ages, it'll be incredibly strong. They also won't uh, corrode over time. I also like that he waited for that small section next to the gate until he did the gate. That way, everything lines up really nicely. hoping he'd show how he spaced those it looks like there is a spacing involved um, between the pickets I was hoping he'd show us kind of how he what he used to space it always wanted to pick up tips and tricks there I also like that he's pre-drilling now he's a he's a carpenter so he knows the tricks of the trade as far as it goes with working with wood pre-drilling make sure that those pickets aren't going to split and and Leads to a really nice end result.
Oh my god! Now you're in! This is a sleek latching so setup as well. Very nice. I like this lockable from the inside and the outside. That way it provides security. But if you're on the inside wanting to get the outside, you don't have to walk through the house or around the house to get to the outside to unlock that thing. That's a pretty slick latching setup. Since it's in swing, that means the latch, the striker, sits on the inside of the fence. It gives it a really clean look. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I think it turned out great. Uh, I think the fence itself looks really nice too. So a, a better example of fencing, I think, than the review we did last time, which you guys will see linked right now on the end screen uh, next to me. For now, I'm Joe Everest, the fence expert, reminding you that good fences make good neighbors. And I'll see you next time.